Welcome to You Be The Judge, where the objective of this show is to put it out there and let you be the judge. I know everybody got their beliefs, but don't hate on mine. Now check out this content. Black people, I want to ask you all the question. What right now um, are you most concerned about in your life? Um, is it interest rates? Is it rent? Is it a black hate crime bill? Is it reparations? Um, whatever the case may be, is it more important than a war in Gaza? What you're going through in life, is it more important than a war in Gaza? Black folks. So don't try to tie yourself in it. Don't be watching this, these people trying to tie us into that war in Gaza. We got a war right now that we suffering. Don't let them do it. Y'all, I seen Biden on TV. They always go to these colleges. They pick these colleges, man. And they go find these bootlicks, man. They go to these colleges. They do it every year. You notice every time they need a black vote, you see them at these colleges. You hear the the uh, uh, the the bootlicks come out talking about vote for him, and they only they, I listened to that and he didn't say nothing tangible for black people that's actually gonna help. I hired the first black this. I what is that doing for us? She don't even do nothing for us. So he they do this all the time. They go to these little. Uh, cookouts, you'll catch them at a uh, uh, Popeyes or some, you know, with these rappers, uh, and they don't never tap in with the in intellects of the grassroots. We have intellects like Malcolm X and people of that nature. We do have intellects in the black media and the grassroots. They don't tap in with them because th they have sense, and they're gonna tell them like, man, that, that makes no sense. Um, all this money going where it's going makes no sense. So when I say that to y'all. I want you to think about that because you're about to vote. Um, and like I said, I'm, I'm going to keep it real with me. I'm choosing a couch. Unless some one of them dudes come out and say, we're about to do this and we're going to do this for black folks, I'm going to choose the couch. If none of these elected officials say, this is what we're going to do for black people in America and they start doing it, I'm not voting for anybody. Now, this is my stance. And I want y'all to understand this. I'm not playing. If you really care about your people, man, if you really care about your people, you will pay attention to what's going on with them. Not just what's going on with you. If you care about your people, you can be sitting in a house, having bread, all that stuff, and your people down here suffering. See, I'm not suffering, but I care about those that are. Especially my complexion and my uh, race, black American, I care. And honestly, I don't care about... Um, Shit, I don't want to do that. But I did everything, like I said, with black folks is, is more important. It takes precedent over everything else and everyone else. So with that being said, man, think about what's important to you before you go on and pick that ballot up and say, I don't like Trump. I don't like him either, but I don't like Biden either. What is he doing? Crime bill, y'all. He signed that shit. He put it, he grabbed a pen and signed that says, send him to prison. Didn't want to come with another bill talking about, all oh, the weed is legal. It's too late. I just did dub. I'm trying to calm and remain, excuse me, stay calm about this, but the, I'm losing that because I see them on TV. I catch them and I, I'm like, man, what are they doing? What are they doing? And it's black people just getting on stage talking about the war in Gaza. The whole time I was watching that little Morehouse thing, they didn't say nothing tangible for black people. They talking about a war in a whole nother country. And I'm sure they got friends or family that's doing bad. Why you think they went to college in a black college at that? Cause more than likely they wasn't going to get accepted in all those uh, D ones, whatever you call them colleges, Stanford's and all that old shit. And in a black college, they ain't like that's the best, best college in America. They don't even get funding like that. So we not finna play that game. I'm telling y'all, watch out for them bootlegs trying to get y'all. And y'all, oh yeah, look at them. They, they coming to, no, they not. It's a show, man. With these Democrats, Republicans, liberals, conservatives, I don't care what they are. Unless they coming to do something for black people straight up. I don't want none of them, none of that, oh, I, I holler at you later shit. Don't tell me we about to kick in and do it big and then you bounce on me. 
I'm just saying that's what the Democrats would do. That's what they never kept Republicans do. But one thing about the Republicans, they don't even say we going out to kick it. They let you know I ain't fucking with you. The Democrats, they lie in your face. Let's go kick it. Let's go have a good time. You can meet some of these white friends I have over here. These white supremacist friends I have over here and black people be so happy. Yeah. Okay. I can meet some white supremacists. Wow. I've, and they go. Even Hollywood sports, all that shit. Even in down here and in the grassroots on, you know, in the mainstream, we got to deal with white supremacy. But the difference is a lot of, a lot of people, a lot of these people can't wait to meet them because they want to lick their boots. And like I said, I, I be getting shadow banned when I talk like this, man. I don't care though. Somebody going to hear it. So that's just my message to y'all, man. It's a long message, but it's a message in there. I hope you get it. But uh, you be the judge. I'm out. Okay, so I just put it out there. And you be the judge. Again, I'm not going to hate on your content, so don't hate on mine. All right, y'all.